Warm weather is bringing snakes slithering out of hibernation. Only two here in East Tennessee are venomous, though. Uh, right there on the left, the timber rattlesnake. It is found in the mountains and on the plateau. On the right, you were seeing just a moment ago, it was the copperhead, more common and lives in rural areas. 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson joins us now to talk about how to be prepared for a surprise interaction. Leslie. And for the sunshine and those rising temperatures, but so are the snakes. Tennessee is home to 32 different snake species. Whether venomous or not, it's important to know the difference and how to respond if you do end up meeting one this spring. What you think? Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Whether you like interacting with these slithery serpents up close or behind a strong piece of glass, encountering snakes in the wild is a much different experience than in the safety of a zoo. You know, these animals are, have been hibernating all winter long. They're coming out looking for food, they're looking for mates, they're looking for basking spots. So um, you, you just start to see them a little more around, around now. While most snakes in our area are harmless, there are two to watch out for. Timber rattlesnake and a copperhead. A timber rattlesnake is easy, it's got a rattle. Copperheads are a little more difficult. In fact, this is the one, this is the corn snake that people get mistaken for copperheads quite often. A copperhead pattern that looks like a series of Hershey Kisses and they have a big, broad, um, coppery head and the youngsters have a really bright yellow tail. Now wait, isn't there a third venomous snake? People will argue till they are blue in the face about water moccasins being here, but there are no water moccasins around here. What they're seeing are northern water snakes, which are real common, but they're harmless. If you encounter a snake, leave it be. Any, anything with a mouth can bite. You should never pick up anything, um, any wild animal. They're wild animals. Most venomous snake bites happen to people that are trying to interfere with the snake. People are trying to pick it up. People are trying to kill it with a shovel. And don't kill it. It is illegal. Instead, find an animal organization to help relocate it. Yeah. You know, put your hand right under there. And remember, these creatures play an important role in the environment. Appreciate it. I mean, some of them have really beautiful patterns. They keep rats and mice away. They do a whole lot of good. Well, in the past 40 years, there actually have only been seven reported deaths from snake bites here in Tennessee. It's extremely rare. More people die from wasp stings and being struck by lightning. Now, right now on WBR.com, we do have a snake quiz to test your knowledge as well as pictures to help identify those snakes. Robin John, back to you. I'll be looking for those Hershey kisses <laughs> yes. now. Okay, thanks so much, tip. Leslie. Yes, it is.